Okay, we're back. I have to tell you what a saga this uh, CRT testing is uh, turned into. Uh, we had the um, the setup book here for the uh, dandy adapter, and I'm telling you, I'm having to. I've forgotten more than I've I know because uh, I used to do all this on a almost a full time basis, but I almost have to relearn myself here. As from the schematic, and uh, this being an inline tube, of course, I had to put the uh, the grids are tied together. The G2s and uh, whatnot, and based on what the screen, what the uh, board has printed on it, I was able to come up with this combination. And this is similar to what uh, uh, someone did to my first B and K CRT checker. Is they just made uh, you test black and white, and then you just basically uh, check each gun as a black and white gun individually. Well, anyway, I wanted to have this B and K. 467 do the job for me and uh, of course I don't have the adapter but the previous owner must have had the uh, you know the universal here adapter so with the instructions we fired it up and I didn't show you that portion but I had um, it tested weak on all three guns which I kind of don't believe because uh, this CRT uh, it, 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 it looks pretty bright to me uh, setting it up and whatnot it just the lights were flickering at first on the tester and then that went away and the heater was up 6.3 volts, but then all of a sudden I look and the um, the line voltage, the heater, nothing, the unit's on, but it, I look over and nothing's happening. So something's happened to the B and K 467. So over here, what I've done is I've taken it apart and I've noticed that all along, first off, the fuses are good. I was able to go online and get the, uh, this is a great site, the Elect. Tanya. I think it's uh, Hungarian or something, but if you go there, E-L-E-K-T-R-O-T-A-N-Y-A dot com, they'll have you take a short test. Don't be fooled by these downloads here that they try to spoof, spoof you with. I downloaded the PDF file for the um, B&K Precision 467. This site has a lot of useful service information on it. So coupled with the, uh, now I'm equipped with the schematic for this thing, I can get to work on why it died shortly after trying to use it. And I'm looking and I see all these connections here are all cracked, all the solder is cracked on nearly every one of these connections here. So um, I basically am going to have to go through, let's solder them up and see if I can't get the um, See if I can't get, see there's a crack right there, they're all like that. See if I can't get the heater to turn back on here. See that one's another crack. These are all cracked along this edge connector. So we're going to go through this thing as we didn't want to. And uh, see if we can get the tube to light up again on the uh, Sanyo with the B&K 467 CRT tester. Which is now having to be serviced itself. Okay, as mentioned, I've gone ahead and I've soldered this whole row of connectors. And I'm going to continue on because you can see all these are all cracked all along here. So we're going to touch this up around the uh, the bottom of the B&K. And, K and uh, this reminds me of another piece of test equipment failing on me as I'm working on a set. I uh, had my nice eco capacitor checker with the green eye and the 500 volt transformer lead the capacitor on the filter section was bad so as I was as I was um, working on a set I could smell my test equipment burning up I'd never recap the test equipment it's pretty bad when you have to stop and rebuild your test equipment before you can work use it to work on other things. And like I said, from Electro Karma there or whatever it was, I've got the uh, the B and K Restorer service manual, so um, this shouldn't be too bad to be able to fix anything wrong with this thing. Though there's something wrong with this thing. So more on this later. That's the update on the B and K Sanyo. Okay, the ongoing saga of the B&K CRT467 uh, Restore Analyzer. I was using it to uh, test the Sanyo over there with the adapter all hooked up to the uh, guns and the grids and all of a sudden I look, it was gone. It was just power light and no functionality. So I've noticed, uh, I downloaded the schematic which we have here. 
a little discrepancy, but uh, it's nice to have that at your uh, fingertips. And uh, the interesting thing is, another one of the, uh, I mentioned before that the brights came unglued, the dry glue, I lose the brights, that's what they call the center of these knobs. And uh, when I took it out of the cabinet, I have two. And for the life of me, I don't see two missing. So that was pretty strange in itself. And uh, like I said, this unit is on, so I want to be careful with it. Um, anyway, these riddled with cold solder connections on the bottom. So uh, we touched those up. I could touch even more up, but I just did the ones that appeared to be cracked. And I looked with the lupe and whatnot. So on with that. So now when you do turn it on to set up, it behaves properly. I have my heater voltage, which I can set over here on the left. I believe... I don't know why that one's in the middle like that. I may be correct. It may not be. That might just be the uh, G1. That's supposed to be down to the minimum. And that is the line voltage there, which we're just at 120. So other than the middle meter showing something strange here, which I may or may not, that may or may not be okay. Um, we're going to go back to the Sanyo and try testing that CRT again. I found the problem with these brights here, why I'm having more than I, uh, than, than uh, what's on the tester, is they actually, I don't know if you can see that, there are two on top of one another sandwich. So there must have been three of them glued together. So I have a couple spares and you can still see there's two of them stacked one on top of the other. Those are the brights for the um, for the knobs. So that's a little quality control there for you. Three of them stuck together are placed on one knob. Okay now I've gone and made doubly sure that all my pin connections to the CRT are not touching and uh, now that I've resorted those connections on the BNK and attached the uh, adapter and we have our condensed instructions, let's turn it on and uh, see what we get. So it's nice to see we have the line voltage at 120. That's the uh, grid 1 setting and they say to set that at 50 but we'll worry about that in a minute. And I want to set the uh, the heater voltage to uh, 6.3 for this tube. It'll change slightly as the tube warms up, but we'll keep it right on 6.3. And we can hopefully see that the tube is lit. And the tube is lit. Now what I was getting before is even though I have this set, as best as I know, I was not getting I was not getting a good reading out of this tube. So I'm going to uh, go through the steps again. I'm going to, uh, I've set the G1, let's set the G1 to 50. That's about half scale. It says if it's not noted, put it at 50. That's my line voltage and that's my heater voltage at 6.3. So now we'll go to uh, set the cutoff here, which I don't understand what they're saying. Set cutoff, add one division. I think they mean in, in, in sequence, so, so I add one division from the other one. I, I don't know what that means. I, I, and it says if you're unable to do it, just set it to high. I, I don't know what one division means, I guess. Set one division. That's the only thing that, that, that throws me. Set one division from the other. Well, I'll just make each one a little a little higher than the next. I think that's what they mean. I mean, I don't understand what I can't. Set one division. Does affect all three. Set one division. 
set cutoff. One to, I don't know what that means. They have to speak English, or I just don't interpret what they're trying to tell me. Uh, okay, now we're going to go to emission. Well, that's a big difference. It says it's okay if it goes green, green, pegs the needle on each. That's what we weren't getting before. So that tells me that this CRT is good. If I do a life test, it deducts 15% of the filament. And see, they come down a little bit. There goes the, um, the first one. And the other two, eh, the others have gone down. So I'm going to go back to the set the cutoff thing because I know that might vary things here. I don't know. I'm just going to set these cutoffs in the middle for right now because I don't know what they're talking about, and I'll test again. Now, that's what I want to see. Three good guns. And we'll do the life test. And they're not supposed to fluctuate. It has this tracking test and whatnot, which I'm not really, really going to get into much. And then it says do the tracking and and life at the same time. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm happy. Focus test. Whatever that means, I'll take that. The focus OK LE. Uh, neon light does not come on and I will test for shorts so I have no shorts I'm happy to see emission high on all three guns which I expected so I think I can give this tester a clean bill of health for the moment until I do some more testing that's the final for the BNK 467 CRT tester rejuvenator thank heaven